and that if they also practiced doggy style position in the sexual intercourse that they would go to hell Zion TV Africa, I came across a video yesterday. Aha, let me say, you reacted to It's a trendy topic. There's this, uh, well, I say, theory about uh, sex positions taking people to hell. It cuts across those who are into the holiness, holiness stuff. So, aha. I don't want to go there much because I don't want any problem. But this particular video is saying something. Aha, and I'm worry ego. We have to debunk every negativity and then let the positive vibe continue. So let's get into the reaction. Let's get into the reaction. Let's go. Everyone, I hope you're doing great today. Okay, so uh, something crazy has been going on with my emails. Um, I haven't checked my email for a while now, but when I Tried to check, I found out that there's a particular email that has been coming from so many different people, and I was wondering what in the world was going on. Everybody talking about sexual position. Oh, but just need to make a video about this. We need to talk about it. It's very, very urgent. It's very urgent. And I said, what is going on? And someone told me there was a video that was trending some time ago, in, in which a guy was implying that if a woman sat on her husband during sexual intercourse in their marriage, that both she and her husband would go to hell for that yeah seriously i actually read that article it's a kind of video and then in the form of writing uh-huh i read that and i was like what on earth yeah and that if they also practiced doggy style position in the sexual intercourse that they would go to hell <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> and people believe that People actually shared that video and some actually believed it and it breaks my heart. This is why I keep saying all the time, the church of Christ needs to wake up. We need to stop relegating sex education to the bad crowd. We need to stop treating everything about sex like it's some unholy no-go area stuff. No, it is extremely important in our families, in almost everything that has to do with our religious journey on earth sexual education is so indispensable why did i say that now many may not know this but i'm going to tell you this and i want you to write it down sexual intercourse in a properly constituted marriage listen to that in a properly constituted marriage sex is meant for our reward those who are married not for the unmarried singles like me no way not until i am legally married yeah. isn't just a form of worship it's a higher form of worship i feel like wow really sex is a higher form of worship to god if it's legally done it's holistically done yeah it's a higher form of worship to god wow that's amazing i want to say that again sexual intercourse in a properly constituted marriage isn't just a form of worship it's a higher form of worship so if you are married legally and you are making love to your wife you guys are engaging in a very high level worship to the most high god who created sex and gave it to enjoy and somebody will come and tell you that because you sat on your husband or because you took a particular position that you will go to hell and you went to believe the person imagine if the church took the front seat in terms of telling people what the truth is about sex education imagine if we kept on telling our church members this is what we should do about sex this is what you need to know about sex imagine if we didn't keep quiet and allow pornographic videos to teach us lies about sexual intercourse in marriage. Imagine what would have happened. At least when people see videos like What brother uh, Okechuku is saying is very true. It's so true. Today if you mention the word sex, then they start looking looking at you like a kind of sport brat. Yeah. That's what happens in the church. Ubosupena 
Obia eyebrows are raised that hey, who is saying this? Yes, it's a, a kind of stigma if you mention yeah. it. They would have been like, oh, come on, please. But if I tell you the many Christians, believers, saw that video, I, I haven't seen it, I don't know what it is, but they saw it and some of them actually believed it. How can you, taking a position to sex, be the thing that takes you to hell? They say, oh, don't do doggy style. By the way, we've been doing doggy style in our prayers, actually. I grew up in the Catholic Church, yeah? And they used to... <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh he said we have been doing doggy style in our prayers really <laughs> uh. when you didn't want to pray they said kneel down those days we went we couldn't stand up to pray we would kneel down many people still kneel to pray today imagine that you're kneeling down you're a man you're a woman you're kneeling and your knees are killing you and you have to bend over isn't that doggy style so we're gonna go to hell as well for practicing doggy style and prayers we're gonna go to hell we go to hell that, that's what it means because your woman is bending over and you're having sex with her that's that's doggy style so you have to go to hell there are certain things i hear and in all sincerity genuinely i feel the people who say this thing should be actually committed to a psychiatric home it's not everything here that we should pay attention to you don't have anything to lose by just doing a little research and finding out the truth about what God intends to marriage in sex. We have to be very, very careful. And having said that, it does not mean that during sexual intercourse in marriage that there are no limits. No, there are limits. And I'm going to explain to you what I believe the limit. All right. We have reached an important... Uh, part of the video. I've not watched it anyway. I'm now watching with you guys so that the reaction will be real and, and good. Uh -huh. So he's coming to tell us about uh, what the limits in, in marriage in terms of sex. Yeah. And it's not just because I want to have some type of religious speak or I want to be fanatical or whatever. I'm telling you because I have done research on it. I tell people all the time in your sexual intercourse all jokes aside, Mr. Okechuku is a very educated man. In fact, he does a lot of research. If you go onto his channel, Joseph Okechuku, you will see a lot of stuff, exposés, which are true. If you search them on the internet, you, you're going to get them. Yeah, it's so true and clear. In marriage, stay away from anything that has to do with anal sex. Anal sex. Stay away completely from it. Because anal sex is one of the greatest sources of satanic energy to demons. The moment you go into anal sex, like when you go to masturbate, the demons flood into that place like the vultures will come around the carcasses. Whoa, did you hear that? Anal sex is demonic. It's so demonic. That's the limit. That's why God created the system you need to perfect. For your pen drive to go there not into the dustbin no so when they flood in you are doing that stuff you are generating the energy and they are feeding off of it take this to the bank and cash it it's not me just talking because i'm a religious guy i have done my research and let me promise you this and i want to hold this to me hold, hold this against me if i don't do it right i am going to make a more professional video as many of you know i'm still traveling i'm not even set yet so much going on around me but when i'm done with my trip i'm gonna make a more professional video in which i will explain to you the kind of things you need to avoid in your sexual intercourse in marriage right you have to avoid anal sex you have to avoid bdsm or whatever they call it remember that thing they call bondage and stuff you know why i don't want to begin to do it in this video now is because i want to show you proofs I want to show you evidence. I want to give you historical foundation and biblical application to all of these things so that you know that I'm not just say, speaking out of sentiment. I'm speaking from a place of adequate and sufficient knowledge. That's why I said in my next video, and I want you to look out for this, I'm going to tell you more about anal sex. I'm going to tell you more about BDSM. I'm going to tell you more about oral sex. Many people want to know this. And I'm going to tell you actually what I think and what I feel and give you my reasons for feeling and thinking that way about all this practice. 
whoa we'll be looking up for that video that would be a lot of package yes a lot of packaging too now beyond those extreme practices i can tell you this there is no sexual position that you take with your wife that is going to take you to hell not one as long as you are doing the right thing making your organ go to where it should go and not the wrong place yeah you have hit the nail on the head no sexual position will take you to hell no sexual position will take you to hell the right thing is put your pen drive as a man and I, when I say pen drive you know what I'm talking about into the system unit of your wife not into her dustbin no anybody who tells you that missionary is what you should be doing the person needs to be checking the psychiatric home are you kidding okay so me now I will marry my wife and I'll be doing missionary I'll be doing missionary with my wife you <laughs> Oh my. You, the the Lord. you can stand up, you can jump around, you can praise and dance and do all kinds of stuff. You can sit, you can kneel, you can do everything. But when it comes to the bedroom, you will just be missionary and you feel like you're a human being, you've done your job. And your wife is dying and perishing and lacking emotional support and emotional satisfaction. And you are okay with it. Something must be wrong with that individual. Make love to your wife until the woman cries out and says, Yes! The Lord is good. What is wrong? <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> really? <laughs> we should stop treating sex as if it's something, some no-go area stop. No! Sex is very important. And I want, I want to repeat this again. It is the highest, one of the highest forms of worship to God for people who are married. I'm not going to do no missionary. No. I will, in fact, I will look for different positions. I will even, I will even go research it. Make your wife enjoy you in bed, so you don't expose her to satanic addictions like lesbianism and all kinds of stuff. I did a video some time ago in Hollywood about this. A pastor who would always go and preach and do all those kind of vibrations and everything in church, but when he comes home, it's so difficult to get this man to sleep with his wife. And even when he does, he just wants to do missionary and go and sleep. How dare you do that? Make love to your wife. That is worship. Worship passionately. If you worship God passionately in church, you should be more passionate in bed when you worship him through sexual intercourse. Wait for my video. I can't wait to deal with this topic. This is why God wants us to, to wake up. You know when the Bible...